Hello, hello everybody and welcome to this week's video. I hope you all having a great time right now and you are indoors because outside, at least in England, is raining, it's snowing, it's windy, it's horrible. So it's going to be like this for the next few days actually. But let's continue with our video. <laughs> this is not a weather video. So this week we are going to look at colors and how you can create your custom color collection or swatches. If you don't know what a swatch is, basically it's not the watch, it is a combination of colors that, um, for example, you can see here that I have opened uh, Pantone swatches, colors that are harmonized and they really, really work uh, great together. So you have, you can see you have from the light to the dark side. And yeah, this is not Star Wars as well. <laughs> How do you create your custom colors? First thing what I do is I use color.adobe.com. I'm going to drop a link below where I can create custom themes. So you can see here what's happening, which is pretty, pretty cool. This is cool as well. So let's create this particular color harmony, this swatch. I've seen that a lot of people are screen grabbing this and just go then with, uh, you know, the picking color tool and trying to do that way. Let me show you why it's not working. But before I start, I want to put a timer because I want five minutes on a clock and see if I can do this tutorial very, very fast. So five minutes starting in three, two, one, five minutes. Right. So let me show you first why the screen grab is not working. So let's print screen this and go paste. We are going to make this bigger so we can see it. And the big difference is let's create here a small square, move it around. This is going to be very handy and then do something like this. So we have five colors and five squares. So the first square here, we're going to grab this one. So what you would do is take the color picker and click here, then go ahead and add the color. And you can see that it's not the same. 4DA75C, 4DA75B. So it's a bit of a difference. And sometimes in color identity, it really needs to be accurate. So now for the A75C, for the A75C. So this clearly is not working. So what I'm doing is click on my new square here. Go ahead and copy my ID, color, fill and paste. Hit enter, boom. And now I know for a fact that is going to be 100% the color that I want. Let's see, take this one as well. Click, fill, boom. Click on this, boom, boom, boom. And the last one, it's this one. Double click, copy, go here, click on this, fill, double click, control V, enter. And now we have our colors, but how do we create uh, the color swatch in our list here. It's simple. You select all of this. But before you select this one, make sure that your square doesn't have a stroke. Otherwise, the colors will be captured. So let's get rid of that. Right. So with this color selected, now I'll go here and go to create palette from document, add as a system palette. And I'll tell you why in a second. So click on this and you can see that it added all the colors plus the background, so the white. And if you don't need the white, you can right click on, on the color and delete fill, hit delete. And now you have this one. If you want to add more colors, something like this, you can do it. So click on it and then right click, add to swatches. So from fill, not from line, not both fill. And you'll see that it added here. Now, why did I say to add it as a system? Because if you work with the other softwares that Affinity provides, like Publisher and Designer, this color palette will apply and go um, to those softwares as well. So let's open Affinity Designer and see if that worked. Go here, have 
cool. And you can see I have my palette as well. If you open Publisher, you'll have the colors as well. Now, another thing you can do, it's either here in Affinity, you can create color swatches from an image. So let's see how this works. Create palette from image. Let's select an image. And now it asks how many colors do I need? So you can add 10 colors, for example. Hit preview and it will add 10 colors from the image. If you click create, you can see square red. Basically, this is the name of the image and you have now a palette. If you want to export your color swatch, you can do the same. Click here on this menu, export palette. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very, very, very quick tutorial on how to create custom colors for your everyday use. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and comment below if you have more questions regarding Affinity Photo and or Designer. Who knows, maybe I'll go into those tutorials as well. Until next time, take care.